Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn. I'm the owner of Lobo Designs and I'm here today with an AI for iPad tutorial on how to expand fonts for laser cutting and how to add a stroke to thicken the font and then laser cut that. I'll also quickly go over how to export as an SVG if you haven't seen that on my other tutorials. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with getting rid of this stuff so it's not on our screen. So I'm just going to go up into the layers tab. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to hide this layer and lock it so it's not in our way. So now we have a blank layer here. Now what I'm going to do is hide the layers tab and I'm going to create the word testing. So I'm going to start out with creating a type box here. So I'm going to go into the type tool over here. I'm just going to create a box in the middle. I'm just tapping down and dragging. And then I'm going to go into the keyboard here and edit this text. So I'm going to tap on the keyboard below and I'm just going to type the word testing. I'm done with that. I'm just going to drag this box up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it and I'm going to put it in a script font so that we can see how to connect the tails at the end of the font. So I'm going to make this bigger first by going up here into the properties menu. I'm going to go into this window here, tap, and I'm just going to scroll a lot. Make this as big as I can get it before it becomes obnoxious. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap on this drop down here and I'm going to change this to Snell round hand. You can pick any cursive font that you have, cursive script, uh, hand lettered font that you have. I just want you to use something that has connecting tails so that I can show you how to unite those tails together. So I'm going to be using this one. Again, I'm going to go back into the properties and make it a little bit bigger just so we can see it more. All right, there we go. So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get out of the properties. I have this box here. I'm going to add the stroke to this now before I expand anything. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go down here. And if you'll notice that the stroke option isn't down here like it would be if we had a circle or a square. So the stroke option on here, you can actually go up into the properties menu. You're going to go down here to the bottom and you want to make sure that you have a stroke set. So you can tap on this and tap black. If you'll notice over here, you can also change the stroke at the bottom. So you're going to tap black stroke and you also have black fill so that you don't have outlines yet. So now we have black stroke, we have black fill. We're gonna thicken up that stroke by going back into the properties. We're gonna go down here to the bottom. I'm going to take this stroke, this five point stroke, and I'm going to make it thicker. See how it gets really bold? So I'm gonna make this thicker, not too thick, but I'm gonna make it really bold. And then the next step that I'm gonna do is going to be, I'm gonna round out the corners. I do this personally because I like the look and feel of it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what's happening here. So I can see almost the whole word here. If you can pay attention to where these squares are at the corners, where these jagged points are, what I do is I tap here in the middle to round that out. And I also tap here down the middle to round out the edges. And if you'll see, see how this rounded I like the look of that more than this. It's entirely up to you, but that's where you would change that is down here in the middle, the center one. So I'm gonna go back in and redo that. Remember, two finger tap to undo, three finger tap to redo. I'm gonna zoom out so we can see what we're doing here. So now we have the text, we have the stroke, and now what we're going to do is we're going to expand it, but we're gonna to have to do that twice. So I'll show you how this goes. So I'm gonna hide the properties menu. First thing that I'm gonna do is go into here. I'm going to go into this tool over here, which is the type tool, and I'm gonna to go to outline text. If you'll notice, once you do that, let me get out of this menu, you'll notice that it turned the original size of the font before we added the stroke into an outline, and it also created these tails, if you can see. These are the individual tails of the letter prior. That's what I was talking about with cursive fonts. So you'll always wanna make sure that you connect those. And here's how I do that on AI for iPad. So we just did the outline here. We went into the type menu. We went into outline text. Now we're going to go up here. We're gonna tap on this arrow for the selection tool. Now this is selected. What you're going to do now is you're gonna go into this button over here and you're going to ungroup. You're ungrouping each individual letter here. So you're going to ungroup, 
And then the next step that you're going to do is you're gonna go back into that same menu and you're gonna do create stroke outline. So that now outlines the entire stroke. And now while you have all of that still selected, this is what I do. You can either group it or not, it doesn't matter. I get out of this menu. I go up into this menu, which is the combine shapes menu. I do combine all and then convert to path. And if you'll notice, now when we go into outline mode, all you have is the outside cuts of what you needed and none of the inside cuts. So I'm gonna run through that quickly one more time so you can see the whole process. So let me go into layers. I'll lock and hide this one. We'll create another one. Zoom out a little bit. Let's get rid of this guy. And then what I'm going to do is again, we're gonna create the type tool. I'm going to create a box here. I'm going to edit all of the text in this box to say testing. Now that we're done that, I'm gonna go into here and change it to, make sure I have it selected. I'm gonna go into the properties. I'm gonna change it to the script font. I'm gonna go into here and make it much larger so we can see it. Whoop, not too big. We don't want it to disappear. Now we're gonna add a stroke to this. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna tap on stroke. We're gonna tap black here so we have a black stroke. Then we're gonna go back into the stroke menu here all the way at the bottom. We're gonna change the stroke thickness to where we want it to be. That looks good. I'm going to round the edges out because that's what I wanna do. Again, if you don't wanna do that, don't do that step. And then we're going to type tool over here, outline the text. Make sure you have your words selected you're gonna go back into here and you're going to ungroup. You're gonna go back into the same menu and you're gonna do create stroke outline. Then you're gonna go into the combine shapes menu here. You're going to combine all, convert to path, and then you'll have your exact word that you need. Again, going into outline mode, there's your outline. And if you have any of these little rogue paths, what I would normally do for these is I would go over here, I would tap the eraser button I would zoom in here and you can just carve right around these edges and get rid of them with the direct selection tool. So I have this selected, I have the eraser tool selected, I'm just going over, whoop, not that big. So I'm gonna go around here and we'll go around here. And then with the direct selection tool, which is this tool up here, you can tap anywhere else, make sure you don't have your artwork selected, tap this and then hit delete and you can zoom out. This might need a little bit of editing if you wanna smooth that out, but that is your word that you could cut out. So that's the final piece, this is your SVG. Personally, I would switch this from stroke to fill if I was cutting it, if I'm engraving it, I would leave it as is. If I was cutting it, I would switch from stroke to fill, which are these two arrows right here. And we're gonna tap this and we're gonna to go to red. So now we have a red stroke, you can export it as a cut file, and here's how you do that. So you're gonna go up here into this button right here for share. You're gonna click publish and export. You're gonna go over here to export as. You wanna make sure that you give it a file name. We'll just say test for this one. Click okay. You want your format to be SVG. Make sure responsive is not checked. Click export and then you can save it to files on your iPad or you can save it to any location where you can get it over to your computer and that's your SVG that you can cut on a laser or use it on your vinyl machine, whatever you are using it for. And that is today's tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the Glow Create group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.